So it's Alabama and it's freaking hot. So I've got a bright idea. I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna install an RV plug in my house first so that I can run the air conditioner and any 110 that I need and then I have outlets right there so I can use do drill and sander and any of that kind of stuff. This is probably not a new idea to anybody but uh, hopefully this will help. The box and the RV plug which is a 30 amper and which by the way of course you need your trusty uh, square D and depends on what kind of fuse box you got but see that's a 30 amper right there and that matches up with the fuse box that I've got um, and then of course a plate is going to go over like that and I would recommend if you're going to do something like this probably have an electrician do it it's starting to be roughed in. We'll run it in. I'll put the um, the square D fuse right there, the 30 amper. It's running out through the box. I've put in some wood supports between the two uh, studs, and then I got the box that I'll put the I'll put a hole in it. I'll put it here, and then that way I have four mounting points for the external box, and then the plug will go in. Dunk. We'll of course uh, run the black, white, and the neutral into that. And then uh, then we should have us a nice plug. And of course, no power going to that. So, well, actually there is power, but we will make sure that there's no power when we make those connections, because I don't feel like being electrocuted. And it's good to go from a, from a stud to a stud. See what I did here? I just went ahead and I, I cut all the way from this stud all the way over to that stud. That way you have something to mount it to and the area that it came from, you can put a screw in there, you put a screw in there, put a screw in there, and then likewise there, and then also I've got studs going across, so that's where I can mount the box to, so they're all going to be on solid wood, none of this wall anchor crap, and uh, it also creates a nice uh, fire break, so I mean, when we look at it, that's the dry fitting, there's the, I'm going to stuff the insulation back in there, there's that, and then this is the actual uh, cord right there that's going to come through. So, and then of course over here, this is roughed, that will go in, and of course the black will go into the new square D, which I guess where's that? It's like right here. Oh, excuse me. So we got our, our square D 30 amper. I'll stick that sucker in there, and uh, the black will go in there. Then we'll neatly run it with the right angles, kind of like the electrician did, and then the white will run that into the bus and then the unshielded wire will go into the ground and then of course it'll come out here there's a certain satisfaction in building something that works and uh, even though it's not quite done I do have it kind of roughed in so now I'll be able to plug the uh, 30 amp service into the RV Dry paint means mission complete. It's looking good.